And around this time in 2007, I actually was got introduced to a network marketing company. Now, what is, now, what what is, is we talking talk about, about network marketing, marketing company? company that I actually got, got into by that show. Oh, that was so cringy to watch. What is going on, everybody? Welcome for the first time or back to another DLJ Works video. And today, I'm going to do a pure DeVry review. No backstory, no wasting of time, giving you the essential information that you need. Stick around for it right after the intro. All right. You know what the saying is, hindsight is twenty twenty. If you're too young to ever even have heard of that expression, where you heard it from me right now. And basically, I went back and I watched that DeVry video and it was a comment that I actually got on the video where a commenter actually said that um, even throughout this, and I'm, I'm misquoting this person, but they said that despite a very long video, I got the information that I needed. And I actually, that prompted me to go back and watch my video and this, all the essential information of what you wanted to know about DeVry is all the way at the end. Now, at the time that I recorded that video, I, I felt like the backstory was necessary. Not today though, completely not today. So what I've decided to do was actually outline what we're going to talk about. So this video is gonna be into two parts. It's gonna be the educational side of DeVry, and then it's going to be the career side. And the burning question I know everybody wants to have answers to is, does DeVry help you in any way get a job? And even more so, I don't even like using the word job. If you're going to DeVry and you're paying a lot of money because you're going to pay quite a bit of money, you're going to want to have a career, not just get a degree for a job. That that would be my recommended focus for you if you're deciding to go to DeVry. And actually, despite how long that last video was, I'm getting, I got some good feedback from it, but the like to dislike ratio is kind of neck and neck there. <laughs> so that's not that's definitely not good. So I, I want to go ahead and get started. The first thing that I want to talk about is whether the class is like, well, let's actually look at, let's actually go back to the Wayback Machine and let's take a look at what DeVry Online actually appeared to be in 2011 to 2013 when I actually went to school there. Let's, let's take a look. So this is what the website looked like. I'm on Wayback Machine and this was around September is around the time that I wrote. This was really August, but I decided to look at September and this is what it actually looked like. And my degree is in web graphic design. And I believe that is actually under the College of Media Arts and Technology. And as you can see here, they have an associate's degree program for web graphic design. And the reason I even got into this was because I actually wanted to do, I wanted to do HTML, CSS development. That's what I really wanted to do. And at the time, I don't even think they had a degree program, a two-year program anyway, associated, associated, focused entirely on HTML and CSS. But that's the whole reason why I even got into this was because of my interest in those two scripting languages. So I went to, I got a degree in web graphic design. Let's actually check out their curriculum. And this was just 2011, so they was already, I'll give DeVry credit for this, they was already thinking ahead of the game in terms of, um, and, and they're not the first college to do it, but like I said, I'm just giving them credit because they was already considering the potential of the web design and web development industry and offering skills and, and those sorts of things in those areas. So I have to give them credit for that. So if we look at what they actually offer, graduation requirements, five full-time semesters, 67 credit hours, I'm 63 in Minnesota, I don't really know why about that. Um, flexible study, take your web graphic design classes via online degree program, which is what I attended. I went to DeVry online and it was completely online. I never had to step foot inside of a campus. They were they were forward thinking in terms of, and I know it's 2011, and there was a lot of places offering degree programs, but they were still forward thinking. And it was pretty, actually at the time I had like an iPhone 4, I think, and I actually was submitting responses and comments and, and questions like that via my, my phone at the time. Even though I didn't have an app, all I needed to do was just log in through the website, through the mobile browser, and I had to do the you know viewport and zoom in with my fingers to kind of answer questions. It was still pretty in the works back then, but it was doable. It was doable. So that really made it, I had my first taste. So what people are going through right now in this time of crisis, like it was nothing new for me back in 2011 okay 
Related programs, you can apply qualifying credits from your associate's degree in web graphic design to DeVry University's bachelor's degree program. And if I could afford it, if I didn't max out my loans already, I probably would actually went just went on ahead and went for a four-year um, field of study. Now, the argument online at this moment is, is that you don't really need a degree for web graphic design, for web design development and that sort of thing, all right? that that may very well be true i'm not going to be on this video to actually argue that point if you want to save yourself some money you want to be self-taught you want to join a boot camp or you want to take some udemy classes team treehouse whatever you want to do there, there are cheaper uh, ways because in this field we're in a field where it's practicality over theory and over educational background so there's a lot of practicality in this and application if you don't have anything to show for it you might as well forget the degree program on its own. But at that time, when I went to DeVry, I didn't know anything about web design and development. I just kind of dipped my toe in the water when I was playing around on some blogger website trying to manipulate some banner code. And that's where it all started for me with that. But I had no idea what it was. So for me, it was a good entry, despite the expensive amount of money you have to pay in order to um, take these courses. But let's take a look. Look at the web, web graphic design courses they had. Digital Image and Fundamentals, that was a good class. Web Design, Introducing Web Design Principles and Web Content Management. This course covers topics such as user interface, web page, conceptualization, page structure, extensible hypertext, markup language, XHTML for short, cascading style sheet, CSS, uh, WYSIWYG editor, scripting and web accessibility standards. I learned all of that at DeVry. I learned that all those courses were actually really good. And actually, had a really good time working on projects with my fellow peers in these courses. So I don't, people can really miss me about the, the college argument. I, I think it's a really good uh, place and it's all about money. When it all comes down to it, the reason that people say college is a scam, because it's all about money. People feel like they're not getting degrees where they can actually utilize them to uh, make a very practical living. And I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you, like DeVry, I, I really felt fulfilled getting my degree at DeVry. Now that I'm sitting here talking to you guys about it, I can't even take a dump on them at all. And I, I refuse to, <laughs> even in this video. But I'm encouraging you to, I wanna give you a very realistic viewpoint, looking at it through my eyes so you can actually see what you're doing. Instructional design for multimedia. In addition to developing online learning materials, students in this course examine theory, practice of designing instructional materials and systems used for interactive training and education. Now, um, what DeVry, um, the reality that DeVry gave me was that everything was ran on Adobe. And at the time it was Adobe CS5. And this was all ran through um, an online program with um, Citrix, if I'm pronouncing that right, C-I-T-R-I-X. So I didn't have, I couldn't afford Adobe on my own. <laughs> so they had um, student programs or, or student applications where you can run Adobe at the time and on the school's server and their cloud system, however that's supposed to work. I may be even explaining that wrong, but, but for each course, like for web animation, we use Flash. So basically it was a Flash course, I guess you could say. For instructional design for multimedia, we really was using Dreamweaver, but the professor actually was showing us and getting us to compare other websites and actually look at the actual structure of how a website was built, the psychology. Really good, it was a really good class for that. Web design, introducing web design principles. We used, I think we used, actually no, digital image fundamentals. We used Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator when it came to those tools and, and teaching us those principles that you see outlined here in the, um, in the degree descriptions. So these were the web design, web graphic design courses. And I would have to look at the current DeVry website right now so you can actually see what they're still offering and how they're still offering it. Well, actually, let's go ahead and let's take a look at that. DeVry.com. Okay, and let's look to see if it's still pretty much the same thing. So, of course, this is the website in 2020. So now they got everything pretty much a little bit better. The font is much bigger, of course. Everything's widespread, fitting current web standards. So that, that's really good. Um, let's see here. Where is the associate's degree level? Okay, if we go to technology, they have about six available. And let's see here, associate's degree, online degree programs, electronics, information technology with three specializations. So network systems, information systems, and programming. So it looks like they changed some things right now. So 
this may not even be so what I went through and what I got when I actually went to school at the Rye at the time let's see here oh maybe it's media arts let's try this undergrad certificates multimedia design okay all right so a four-year degree so it looks like they don't even have the web graphic design degree anymore they just kind of condensed it all down to um, just two things graphic and multimedia design specialization and web design and development specialization so from what I'm looking at I don't even see the two-year programs that was readily available back in 2011 when I went to Hey y'all, what's up? A quick editor's note. I actually made the mistake of thinking they got rid of the web graphic associates degree, but what happened is, is that they actually put it under the undergraduate certificates, and you should by now know how I actually feel about that word certificate. So now, instead of it just being web graphic design under the associates degree, now if you go to, I think it's Media Arts, there we go, we can see website design and website development. And for each one, if y'all hear some noise, I got my kids in the background as I'm making this editor's note. But you got the Adobe cert certification exams, visual communications using Adobe Photoshop. This is pretty much how it was when I was actually getting my web um, web graphic design degree, associate's degree. And then it tells you down here what you'll learn. So make sure if you're interested in just getting those certificates with the right that you call to see how much it's going to cost, how much you'll need. And what the courses are going to entail and what you actually need so just wanted to insert that for correction but like i said had i could afford it i would have just went ahead and got a four-year degree and just been uh just had a double major but i previously attended Grambling state university back from like 2001 to 2006 yes i am an old head so and i was actually i actually got an associate's in criminal justice which is why it took me a little bit longer to actually get that four-year degree and my four-year degree is actually in English. So I was pretty much already maxing out my loan cap, which I think that's a good transition right now to actually talk about the money that you're going to pay to actually go to DeVry. And when I went to DeVry right now, I'm not going to give you a specific number in terms of how much I owe. I have to give you a range. So right now, I'm probably looking at a good range of about 20 Gs to 30 Gs. That's after interest rates. So for that two year program, it was pretty expensive. It was pretty expensive. And I wasn't even expecting, my four year degree was a lot cheaper than actually doing DeVry. And I didn't realize that until after I got my two year degree at DeVry. Now, the most essential thing that we're going to look at at this time, I'm looking at my notes. So um, teachers, the teachers there were, they were really good. You can they they had their office hours you can contact them they were really prompt in terms of getting back to you uh, those sorts of things so I, I had no problems with the teachers at all and then, like i said i can only speak from my experience from 2011 to 2013 and i actually still i have a folder i have an old email where i kept all of my devry all of my devry email this was all the way back in 2013 so this was more towards the end of my time at devry um this is a friendly reminder that the final is due on Thursday at so you had to you really had to meet these deadlines and most teachers most professors didn't play around they didn't they didn't play around at all you did not meet this deadline you are going to get the grade that you deserve it was one professor that I I I, I promised God showed me mercy on this guy I, I procrastinated waited till the last minute on the assignment it was after the deadline he allowed me to submit it late I got my grade changed from, I think it was like a D to a B. And I was just, I was so blessed when that happened. So, um, but they don't play around at all. I guess that's another thing about the teachers. Like they're, the ride, it's the for-profit. You, you can't afford to sit up here and just waste and throw your money down the drain. If you're going to do the ride, you need to take it seriously and you need to have an attitude that you're going to use this program to succeed. If you're going to invest all this money in your educational background. So I actually thought a two year degree would be good enough because I know in the web design development field, it's more about showing your work. It's more about what can you do for me right now? What have you done lately? You're only as good as your last project and what sort of skills are you keeping up with the skills? So the education obviously doesn't stop here with the degree program. And there's a lot of things that I have a ton of books. You can't really see my web design books, but they're over there on that other bookshelf. And I, I just keep studying. 
I keep practicing. I keep writing code. I keep taking on um, website projects. I keep on taking logo projects. Anything I can do right now to kind of get it in, that's what I'm doing. All right. So that that's going to be pretty much it in terms of the actual educational side of the ride. Now, the career side. And this is the million dollar question. Does the ride, will the ride help you find a job? And Unfortunately, I cannot answer that question because at the time when I graduated from DeVry, I wasn't even I wasn't even trying to look for a gig. I wasn't even trying to look for a career. I'm sorry, not job, a career in web design at the time. I kept doing it as a secondary thing, secondary career path, but I was getting into teaching. And I'm not going to lie to you. I, I love public education. I think I've said that before many a times here on this channel. I'm not one to sit up here and dog public education at all. I'm not going to sit up here and do any of that. I think public education is actually wonderful, but this, I know this video isn't about it, but I enjoy teaching students. So I committed to actually using my English degree, do some writing, do some other things at the time, and just the web design just actually just sat on the back burner. So I can't really give you a lot of um, bright advice in terms of how the Rob actually help you get, it, like, get started in your career. But what I can tell you is that they're really good. Their advisors, their academic advisors, uh, career advisors, I'm sorry, are really good in terms of calling you, following up with you, actually saying, hey, uh, they have this this open, not open house, oh goodness, I'm thinking real estate. They have this career career day. You know, you can go to this career fair. Career fair, that's, thank you. You can go to this career fair right here. They're, 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 they're really good at, finding you dates, finding you locations. I don't know how it's going to be right now and, and during this time, but I'm pretty sure their career advisors are on the ball in terms of trying to get you aligned up with maybe an online, a Zoom career fair or something, now that they're doing it like that. So with, with the events that's been taking offline, DeVry is already well-versed in terms of their online processes, their online methodologies. They've been doing this for a while, and you see it for yourself from my time that I actually showed you here on the way back machine and they probably been doing it even longer I, I i'm not even sure i'm just giving you my experience so i i want to go ahead and just say that in closing of this video if you're going to do the rod the number one thing to please take away from this is first check to see what your goals are if you're just trying to get into web design and development Great. You probably don't even need to go to the ride in order to do that. You just need to pro you just need to figure out what do you want to do in this career sector. Are you trying to just code? Are you trying to be more on the design side, the visual aesthetics, UI, UX? What are you trying to do? First, figure that out, and then try to figure out what would be the good good steps for you to. What is the barrier of entry for you? Do you need to learn HTML, CSS? Do you need to learn how to just use Photoshop and start learning some? tricks and techniques in Photoshop, like some simple photo editing, cutting images out and creating the totally new ones. What do you need to start learning? That's what you should be figuring out. I can only speak on web design and development because this is the field that I spent so much time in since the year 2011. I'm not going to be the one to actually lump, you know, other professions like, oh, you know, if you can just boot camp it with technology, then you can just go ahead and do six months and become a doctor. I'm not going, I'm not going to be that guy. And that's going to be another video. I'm just kind of sick of those people who continue to dog college and just think you could just replace education, full-fledged education with a certificate program. So certificate programs are fine. They're entry level. I believe college gives you debt. You, you have to make a choice. If you may feel like you wasted money because you got a degree in general studies or um, gender history or something like that, that that's your fault. That's your fault. Take some accountability. That, that, that's all I'm going to say about that. That's, that's your fault, man. So uh, I got my degree in English because I wanted to be a writer. I probably didn't need to get a degree in English to do that, but it served well in other areas such as communication, uh, presence, uh, all sorts of things. It's just not even related to writing. So I don't, I don't, you know, regret that at all. But anyway, I hope this video was helpful. If there's anything that you feel like I still didn't give you about the ride, still didn't answer questions about Let's talk about it in the comment section below. Leave me a message and I'll see if I can generate another video about that. This is Deshaun Johnson for DLJ Works. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video. God bless you all.